Hi, it's Carrie Careless 211. Uh, I just finished this project um, a few minutes ago. And um, in one of my previous videos, I showed um, my living room. Um, and I've got one homemade wall, I call it. It's all homemade stuff. And there was one glass dish that I had there just kind of as a place filler um, that obviously wasn't homemade. So I wanted to make something for that spot. And lately I've really liked, you know, kind of darker colors and, you know, I don't know, industrial, creepy, steampunky kind of things. So, um, so this is what I made. It was just a wooden block and um, a piece of dowel that came from a magazine rack my husband and I took apart I don't know a couple years ago or something um, just a wooden ball it it's flat on the bottom I don't know if it's supposed to be some kind of pull or maybe a foot or something I had three of them so um, I covered it with book pages and then um, just spread with my finger a um, layer of um, Aline's tacky glue on there and before it even started to dry I painted over it and so when it all dries it cracks and um, I don't know how well you can see it but there's cracks there and kind of runs and things and you can see some of the book text uh, through it um, and then these are copper rivets, pop rivets, that my husband got at a yard, at a auction, uh, along with these rings, and uh, brought them home for me. And so I used a little drill tool um, to drill holes for the ones that are sticking in this way. And I put a little bit of E6000 in the hole and then just kind of jammed the end in there and put this over for some support, the other part of the rivet. And then the um, other ones I just glued on their tops there. So hopefully that makes sense. And then this part of it, this is the dial from an old... Um, Oh shoot, uh, uh, thermostat, and um, I put one of the rivet parts on top of there, and then these are winding stems around the outside, and then the circle parts of the rivets around or on each corner. So they're on each corner of each side of the bottom box. That's like a stamp and some. I got a bunch of these, um, oh shoot, I'm losing my words, I forget what they're called, but I got a whole bunch of these things at a yard sale, so I've been, um, s &H green stamps, I've been using those for, um, collage and stuff, so those are underneath some of the sides, you can kind of see them poking through. And um, put more of the winding stems, which are for watches. I got those on eBay a couple years ago. Um, glued those on the edges there. So, kind of looks like a funky machine, maybe, or whatever. I don't know. It, I didn't really have a plan for what it's supposed to be. I just wanted it to look kind of like this. So, um, I guess that's it. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.